Hello, welcome to bcping.com. My name is Arun Nair. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use one keyboard and one mouse with multiple computers. In other words, how to share your keyboard and mouse of one computer with other computers. Uh, for example, I have a desktop here and I have a laptop sitting on the top and you know, I need to keep switching between keyboards uh, when I work between these two computers or I need to switch between the mouse and the touchpad when I work between these two computers. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the keyboard and mouse of my desktop to control my desktop as well as my laptop. So before we get started, let's go through the prerequisites. Number one, all the computers that are going to share this keyboard and mouse should be connected to the same LAN network. Uh, it can be wired or wireless. For example, my desktop is connected to my home router with a network cable. However, my laptop is connected to the home router using Wi-Fi. So it doesn't matter, but they should be on the same LAN network. Number two, you need to download and install a tool called Synergy on all the computers that are going to share at the keyboard and mouse. So let's see how to do that. So go to Google and type Synergy. So you get this second link, which is SynergyFoss.org, and you go to that click download and here you can see uh, the set of files for uh, Windows, Mac, Ubuntu, Red Hat, etc. So you need to download the appropriate version. For, for example, my desktop is running 64-bit Windows so I'll download 64-bit bit Windows and install it, this on my desktop. However, my laptop is running 32-bit Windows so on my laptop I need to download 32-bit Windows, uh, I mean 32 bit set of file, and I need to install that. So I have already downloaded this, uh, so I'm, I'm not going to download it again. Uh, I'm just going to close it. So let me go to the location where I have saved the file. Okay, so I have it here, and I'm going to execute that. So it's always safer to run as administrator. Agree, install. So it's getting installed. So once that's installed, just close it. All right, so once you have installed Synergy, you can see Synergy in the system tray. So I'm going to open that. And uh, you have two options. One is server and the other one is client. Now the server is the computer which is going to control the other computers. I mean the keyboard and mouse to which the computer is attached. All right, so in my case, my desktop's keyboard and mouse is going to control my laptop. So uh, the desktop is the screen which is which you are looking at right now, and uh, I have selected it as server. And uh, as soon as as soon as I select it as server, you can see the IP address is detected, which is 10.0.0.4, and there are two other IP addresses which starts with 192. Don't bother about it. it. It's nothing related to this. I have already installed Synergy on my laptop as well. So let me take you to my laptop screen. Okay, so here it is, my laptop screen. Now you can see Synergy icon here and I'm going to double click on that. Okay, so uh, by default, this is also selected as server. Now, this is not going to be the server. This is going to be the client. And it is going to connect to my desktop, uh, which is going to act as a server. So I have to give the server IP, which is my desktop's IP, which is 10.0.0.4. So I've given that. And the next important step is go to edit. This is something that you need to do on all your clients, uh, client machines. All right, so go to edit, click settings, and enter a screen name. So I'm going to enter a screen name as laptop. All right, and OK. And I'm going to click apply all right now the client is ready there is nothing you have to do on your client now I'm going to go back to my desktop which is going to act as my server okay so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to click configure server now this one which you see here studio that is my desktop all right now uh, it's coming as studio because uh, if I go to my computer properties, my computer name is Studio, so it has taken that by default. So I have placed my laptop to the right of my desktop. So uh, when I showed the video in the beginning, you saw that my laptop was sitting to the right of my desktop screen. So I'm going to 
drag this and put it over here so this is going to be my laptop now what you need to do is you need to give the screen name which you have defined there on the laptop so I have defined it as laptop and I'm going to click OK OK apply and it is started and that is it it's all done alright so I have my laptop and my desktop side by side so let me show you how this works so when I move, move my mouse pointer to the right of my desktop it moves to my laptop it jumps to my laptop now when I move it to the left from my laptop it jumps to my desktop you remember I actually organized my laptop to the right of my desktop on that uh, server configuration page now the best thing about this is let's say I open a notepad here and I go to my laptop and I open another notepad I type hi how are you then I just move it to the left and I just type this is a rune okay so you see the keyboard really gives the input to the computer where the mouse pointer is currently located so when I move so let's say I keep typing this and I move here I keep typing this you see this I move to move the move the pointer to the right and it types here and move the pointer to the left it types here so that's a cool tool called synergy I hope you enjoyed the video uh, thanks for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you